No fewer than 97 repatriated victims of human trafficking and other youth have benefited from different empowerment initiatives of the Oni of Ife, Oba, Adeyeye, Ogungusi. The victims of human trafficking narrated how they were dehumanized and physically assaulted while abroad. They expressed their gratitude to the Oni for his intervention. They are now being trained in different vocations. Youths of this country are angry because they are hungry. The way we can take them out of hunger is to continue to empower them. It is also a message to all our leaders, both traditional leaders and political leaders, that it is now of a necessity. If you are earning one million, dedicate half of it to empowering the youth of your environment. It's a necessity. We have been trying to create an awareness that there is no greener pasture anywhere. Stay in your country. And we are trying to do our best. The one that came back, we tried to empower them like three weeks ago. And we are trying our best to empower them and uh, make them a better person. Though it is not easy, you know. You know, supporting victims of human trafficking back. You have some of them that are sexually molested, so many things. But um, we have a official plan for the few of them. We can't take all. We thank Oni for their support, for their assistance, for bringing us back from Oman. Even though they are help and their support, even for me, for myself, maybe I will have died there. We're stranded in Lebanon, our boss, they don't pay us, we don't have anything to eat, we don't have anybody that we can call, that can help us. So when the frustration was much, that was why we decided to make the viral video. And I want to use this medium to appreciate His Imperial Majesty, or Ni of Ife, or Bade Wusi, and it's of Abatunde. I want to thank him for his support and care when we were there. He sent us an our strength morning, and even when we came back, he gave us uh, vocational training.